Kia ora, as easy as is, and welcome to Living Life As Easy As with Happiness. Wow, can you hardly believe it? It's just about 2018, it's just around the corner, and what a great time to start thinking about that New Year's resolution. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be sharing with you a great New Year's resolution idea that I think should be right at the top of your list. But first, oh, yeah, just letting you know, Wombles here, he's, uh, he's with us, all on board. But first, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed or liked or shared or commented um, or I've had some great photos have been sent to me and some lovely stories have been PM to me um, about how people are starting to improve their wellness, their happiness um, and their general purpose of living as a result of doing some of the things that I've been sharing with you over the few last few months so thank you as easy as is I love to hear from you so keep it coming you can share with me any stage um, what you've been doing what you're up to and all the good stuff that's been happening to you to send you on a way to a happy as life so yay really good to hear it so thank you so much but anyway Yes, New Year's resolutions. Um, yeah, I love this time of year. I think it's so cool. It's an exciting time to um, be out and about and enjoying your life. So New Year's, a resolution, what a fantastic time to start it because you are naturally a little bit more upbeat because it's just the sun is shining, people are laughing and it's just a great atmosphere around and generally people are a little bit more happier at that time of year. So it's actually a really good time to start a New Year's resolution because you're already that little bit upbeat so it's easier to carry it on. Um, but hey, you don't have to wait until the New Year's to start any change in your life to have any resolution it can start whenever you know so January if you miss that February March don't keep putting it off though but don't put it off until the next year if you missed this year um, because it can happen you can start making changes at any stage of your life whenever you're ready then world's ready to accept what you'd like to change it doesn't have to be the new years but anyway, I was out chatting with my girlfriends, we were out on a walk and a coffee day yesterday and they were talking about their New Year's resolutions and I just love it. When I heard that that's what their resolution was going to be for 2018, I actually got a bit excited. Um, this is something that I only succeeded in achieving this year. And I can't tell you what it's done for me when I finally got to this realization. It's just been life changing. So to hear that my friends are, are going to head this way is very exciting. And I just want to share it with everybody out, else out there. Um, you might want to adopt it as a new year resolution for you. And you will find it quite life changing. It's such a neat new year's resolution. So what is it, this New Year's resolution? Well, they are going to be DGFs in 2018. What is a DGF? It is someone who don't give a flying monkeys is what I'll say. It just doesn't suit me swearing. You know, I say the odd swear word, but it really sounds quite ridiculous coming from my mouth. So um, I'm going to say I don't give a flying monkeys, um, but you know what I mean. So when I say I don't give a flying monkeys, DGF, then um, what we mean by that is I don't care. I really don't give a damn what anybody thinks about me. I'm not saying don't give a flying monkeys about how people are feeling or don't have empathy for people or, um, you know, you still, you do give, you care, definitely. This only relates to, I don't give a flying monkeys what other people who don't matter in my life and aren't that important in my life think about me. And when you get to that stage, it is so rewarding. I mean, it 
you just open up and blossom and you can move forward to a happier life you really really can so you know going back in the days i used to be used to get so wound up on what people thought about me you know i've been through some things and i've heard some awful gossip being said about me and some things that have been completely untrue you know things like i'm supposed to have run away with a a 70 year old man and stolen $80,000 and sort of stuff like and I'd just be up all night stressing and you know just making myself ill that um, people were saying these things about me or thinking these things about me and um, oh god I really wish I had this I don't give a fly monkey's attitude that I have now then um, because I just worried myself sick over nothing because why does it even matter to anybody else what's going on in my life? You know, my nearest, my dearest, and my loved ones, yes, what they think about me and, and stuff really matters. But um, we can talk that through, and they know the truth. They know what the truth is, and so, you know, that is good to have. But anybody outside of that realm, why does it even matter? You know, I've got somebody that's annoyed at me because I wear a flower in my hair. It's so stupid. You wear a flower in your hair. How old, how old are you? You know? What does it matter? I just can't get that somebody else would get their knickers in such a twist because I have a flower in my hair. How does that even affect them? It's crazy. How does that even affect anybody else? Am I asking them to put a flower in their hair? No. So, you know, they stand there and to go, mm, stupid flower. It's so crazy. And they get annoyed about it. And I just find that so hilarious. Because I'm so confident in myself now that I really don't care what anybody thinks. DGF. I don't give a flying monkeys. And it's so liberating. It really, really is. Now, there's this amazing quote that I came across about a year ago, and it just settled in my brain, and I'm like, but that's what I need to follow by. It's a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt, Roosevelt and it's just so neat. I absolutely love it. Nobody can make you feel, nobody, Nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Mm -mm. If you don't give them the consent, it can't make you feel inferior. Just don't let it. It's actually that easy. Just don't let it. I mean, half the time these people that are saying awful things about you or, you know, wanting to put you down have their own inferior issues. Um, and I finally get that now. And so it really, just anybody can say anything nasty about me and I just DGF. I don't give a f lion monkeys. And it's so liberating. You really got to try and adopt this if you can. If you can be a DGF person, I'm talking about, you know, the people who are saying things about you. Oh, you need to care about the people around you. It's just the people that don't matter in your life. If you can adopt that attitude, it breaks down the barriers and overrides the fear, and you can move on to happiness. It really is neat when you can get to that stage. I only got to that stage this year, earlier on this year, and I can tell you it's just fantastic. There were so many things I didn't do because I worried about what people may think or might think or I think that they're thinking when probably they're not even thinking. So it's crazy. You know, I used to worry about these stupid little things um, about what other people might be thinking and that was affecting my health and it was ridiculous. So when I heard that, gorgeous quote from um, Eleanor Roosevelt, you know, nobody can make you inferior without my consent. I was like, that is so true. 
And yeah, it's just been so neat since I've adopted that. You know, I'd never ever, like I swear, I would never ever have done as easy as and what I'm doing now if I hadn't adopted that I don't give a flying monkeys because it would have stressed me out no end. I would have just been stressing what people thought about what I was wearing, how my hair was, what I was saying. And um, But because I don't give a flying monkeys, if I know I'm helping people, then I don't care like I seriously don't care about what anybody else has to say that's a negative. Um, I appreciate people's opinions, that's not the same as mine because we, we all have different opinions, but I don't care if they have a personal attack on me. And it's so, oh my God, it's so liberating. So pop that on your resolution list somewhere it should be there if you want to move forward with an as easy as happy life dgf you are not going to give a fly monkeys about what other people who aren't important to you think about you great liberating freeing and you can move forward and have a fantastic 2018 because it's going to be amazing turning 50 next year and that is worth celebrating and i just don't give a flying monkeys what anybody else thinks hey it's cool huh have that attitude i think it's fantastic anyway as easy as is much aruha to you look at this amazing sign my dear friend made this for me and um, I think it's absolutely stunning. She could probably make you one if you want, just contact me, but aren't they beautiful? I absolutely love them. It can have any words you like on them. It might even say DGF on it, who knows? Um, it might say to, happy 2018, but for now, much aruha, as easy as this. Ciao, bye.